Hey everyone, it's been several months since I've last made a video and the reason is because I've been super busy and I haven't had time to actually record and edit and all of that on the videos. I've just been really busy doing. So I will make a video to show off some of the cool stuff that I've done in the meantime, um, really kind of next level for electric dirt bikes. But in the thing I wanted to show off right now is I'm building this MX400 for my three-year-old. And I really like the idea of re the removable batteries. And so that's why I wanted to put two on there. Well, this is made for 24 volts typically, and putting two batteries will bump it up to 36. So it's going to be really fast. And as a result, I, I don't want my three-year-old going as fast as this will go. I wanted to figure out a way to be able to control the speeds on this. Now, um, on a lot of the brushless DC motors, you'll have the option of having a three speed where it'll cut the it'll cut the output to 50 or 75 percent or you can put it at 100 percent and that's something that i've really liked on some of my other builds that i'll show you later and so i wanted to be able to do that uh, finding a motor controller that will do something like that uh, for a brush dc motor i haven't been able to find it i'm sure they exist because like for example the pitster pros their stock controller does have that configuration so i thought about it and i'm like you know I gotta be able to do something. So I came up with this idea and I wanna show the proof of concept. So what, what you have is you have your throttle input right here. So the throttle gets you know positive, power gets negative, and then on this white line, it returns the signal of, you know based on the voltage, if it's higher or lower, it'll tell it um, what kind of speed it wants. So it's a, a total of four volts. So if, if there's four volts on this white wire, that's wide open throttle. If there's two volts on it, then that means it's half throttle. So what I thought I would do is interrupt this signal. So what I've done is I've created this clip-in connector that'll go right in line of, um, of the throttle signal. And it goes to a potentiometer. And so what this will do is it'll adjust the voltage that comes across um, to be able to turn it down. So if you turn it all the way to the right, then what you'll see is, if you see my multimeter in the back, oh wait, I need to turn it on, sorry. Okay, so turn on the bike. You know, it's, it's measuring 3.3 volts right there. So if you turn it all the way to the left, zero volts. So right now I have it at full thr wide open throttle. Let me turn up the potentiometer. You can see that the voltage starts to rise until we get to a point you know, right there, that's basically quarter throttle. And so what you could do is if you left it at that setting, wide open throttle will be quarter throttle. Well, let's, let's kind of put it at maybe half power. So right there, it's returning two volts. So that means wide open throttle is only 50% throttle in real world. So, but you'll notice as I turn the throttle right now, the bike is still responsive. So what you've created is you've created a limit switch, um, a, a dial actually, where you could adjust this based on your rider. Um, so I don't know where I'm gonna mount it, but I'll, I wanted to mark it out where I've measured this is 50%, this is 75, 25, whatever. And so you can move the dial and get it right tuned in. So this is what I think is a really cool idea for if you have a bike, um, you know, for example, if you're riding on the street, you don't need as much power as if you're out in the dirt. And so you could have a bike that where you were built for the dirt, but then you could tune it back when you are on the street. So that way your kids aren't going to kill themselves by going, you know, 30 miles an hour in a residential zone. So anyway, uh, other cool videos to come. 